Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the Team of the Week, Week 6 reveal. Super hype. Obviously, I want to go check over my predictions and stuff. Now, it's one does suck, guys, per se, is that I predicted this guy as one of the legend heroes. And I changed it last minute because we already got some guy at that position a, a week back or a few weeks back. So I was like, no, let me try to like use a little more logic here. So I'm kind of pissed off because I didn't think I'd hit it all this year on that one. But I would have hit already as of week six. Very, very sad I didn't go with him. But despite all that, guys, I'm excited to go over the, uh, the week six reveal. Hopefully, you know, there's some most feared updates as well. But for today's Poodle Squad shout out, guys. First up, if you want to be entered in the Poodle Squad shout out, all you got to do is like the video. Comment down below Poodle Squad and of course turn on that noti bell. And now for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got let's see Fred Gary. Shout out to you man for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Appreciate seeing a new name as well on there. Thank you so much for showing support. And guys, if you guys need coins, pick up these new team of the weeks later in the afternoon when they do uh, drop. Heading over to Mutt Reserve, they now offer coin grind. Oh, uh, what's called solo grinding as well. So you want to hit level 60 as fast as possible. They can get it all done for you within a day, I believe. Use code Poodle 15 percent off. You can get solo grinded. You can get coins, trainings, the team of the week cards directly on there. Take advantage because everything is more discounted again. And of course, my code does help as well. But that's it. Let's get into the cards and let's go check everything out. So one of the first masters for the legend team of the week cards is going to be Shen Sharp from week six on the Denver Broncos. Now, he was not the one I predicted. Shen Sharp, actually, I was looking at the tight ends. But I feel like we just got so many tight ends as of recently. Darren Waller, Jimmy Graham, Brandon Davis. The tight end just didn't make sense. So didn't go with the tight end. But I, who did I go with? For my offensive one, I did go with Brandon Marshall. So... I was close on the Bronco, but it is Shannon Sharp. Now, Shannon Sharp, 91 overall, looks pretty solid. 86 speed, 82 strength, 89 catching, 90 catching traffic, 86 spec catch, 89 short route running, 87 medium route running, and 75 run blocking. Very well-rounded, powered up and chemmed up. He can get the medium route running threshold, the short route running threshold. He has the catching traffic threshold. He'll get the catching threshold and the 87 speed. He's going to be up there right there with Darren Waller, considering he gets all the deep stuff. And he's a better run blocker, I believe, than all of them. So he's definitely super solid. Honestly, I really do like the Shannon Sharp card. I wish he had an 87 speed instead, but this will do. Honestly, this, this is probably a scoop. Probably the best tight end in the game are up there for it. It depends. I forget if Waller has an 87 powered up or 88 speed powered up. That's going to be uh, the, the deal breaker here. If not, they're very similar cards. But he can catch very well. He can route run. He can run block. And he can, he can run. So everything you want in a tight end right about now. So I definitely like the Shannon Sharp. Powering up, of course, is the key here. If you couldn't power him up, that would really hurt. But the medium route running is easy to get. When you get just toss play fake on, and it only be two away. And the shorty actually gets off the fault, so that's super great as well. And he has pretty good strength too, 82 strength. I mean, sometimes the Shannon Sharp card, like those faster, uh, less blocking type ones, don't get the strength. But he's a blocker, and has the strength and speed. You really can't argue that. But guys, moving on to the next one, which is where I messed up. Now, John Abram or Abraham which was the guy that I did actually predict. I've had John Abraham as my second dub, my defensive guy, but I ended up changing it last minute for DeMarcus Ware. Cause I was like, okay, we have a bunch of ends, maybe an outside linebacker. I messed up there. Should have stick with John Abraham, what a hit. He has 85 speed, 90 excel, 85 strength, 87 tackle, 89 play rec, 84 block shade, 84 power move and 91 finesse move. So what upsets me here is gonna be that block shade. Cause this is what's really killing a lot of outside linebackers. You can't give us guys like Ricky James and LT who pretty much are a great, like, or even Ricky James who has block shedding and power move, or block shedding and finesse move, and then we get a guy like John Abraham who has great finesse move, but bad block shed. Now, again, he has the speed. He's gonna be Lawrence Taylor-esque athletic. His card's essentially like a Lawrence Taylor card, almost the same exact thing. The only difference is going to be between like this and Ricky James, that Ricky James also can stop the run. Like, I don't want a guy where if they're running on me too much, I may even have to sub him out because his block shed's not gonna be cutting it. You know, you can put a guy in there with 90, Versus a guy like Ricky James, where you literally just put on the you put on the edge, and if they run it, he's gonna shed. If they if, if they pass if they pass, he's he's gonna pass rush. Like he can do both. But John Abraham still is really good. Like as a situational, I mean he still has enough. He still has decent block shit. I mean powered up 85. But you kind of want that 90 threshold. But otherwise, the finesse move is still amazing. He's still super athletic. He's gonna be one of the top, probably a top three or four pass rusher in Madden 21. The only issue, like I said, is probably going to be his block shed. But again, they're giving us a lot of ends. I guess what I don't like, they're giving us a lot of ends and outside linebackers with the same build. With the great, great pass rush, a low block shed. Great pass rush, a low block shed. So, like, it's not giving us a differentiation of, like, oh, I'm more of a block shed guy or I'm more of a pass rush guy or I want someone with both. Like, it's just, like, very similar cards. But, the better for these guys, let's go check out the current week LTD, of course. 
the current week hero and the lower set guys that will be getting the power up expansion and so on and so forth right, so for the ltd from past week performances which remember this is not this current week it is this week from a past year so stefan Diggs on the vikings had like 180 yards three touchdowns on the vikings crazy day went off now stefan Diggs, not my prediction i predicted clay matthews but stefan Diggs probably even better 91 speed 88 jumping 89 catching 88 catch traffic 91 spec 90 short 90 medium and 90 deep so he's actually a really good wide receiver because powered up and chemed up he did get to a 92 overall i mean 92 speed it's gonna be a 93 overall that's really good 93 speed he's gonna put that 89 jumping he's gonna get the 90 catching he will get to the catch and traffic threshold if you use play fake i believe he gets like a 92 spec catch Wow, he's going to be a low medium route runner across the board with all thresholds. He's going to be one of the best wide receivers in Madden. This is a really, really, really good card. I do like this one. Honestly, guys, I would not be opposed to picking it up. He kind of reminds me of Steve Smith, but I think he might even, even be better. Now, next, guys, for this week's current master, we got Derek Henry, which we all expected. Now, I'm not sure how they did the stats here, but 88 speed, 86 excel. 80 agility, 89 carrying, 58 catching, 76 change of direction, 90 trucking, 90 break tackle. So yes, they killed the speed. Now my, my thinking that they may have is that as a straight line runner, north and south between the tackles, he's gonna almost always fall forward for yards. So pretty much he doesn't need the speed, I guess. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you need speed when you go, you get, maybe you do a counter, uh, like an outside counter, or you do like an outside zone, or you do a pitch or a sweep. But I guess with him, it's always going to tackle. So that all that really matters is how much yards after contact you can pick up. And, you know, you're going to meet the linebacker there anyway. So I guess that's the thinking. But I do not justify this at all. I think he should have 90 speed. He got a 94-yard touchdown. I think that's the longest touchdown of a running back this season. And even if it isn't, the point is, he has one of the best breakaway abilities in the NFL in terms of running backs. Now, of course, I understand that he's a bigger back, so it scares people and he knocks them over and then he gets those yardage. But, like... The fact that he can outrun people, he doesn't get caught from behind, shows that he's fast. At least at 90. Like, yes, he's not 90, he's not Tyreek Hill, he's not 93. Not DK Metcalf 93, but 90, 90 is fair, I think, right? Not the fastest on the field, but he's fast enough to outrun people. But again, the break tackle and truck's nice, but I feel like this is gonna be a slower version of Bo Jackson, although he probably plays a little bit. I feel like Derek Henry cards always play a little bit better in terms of power. But moving on, guys, so those are your masters and the LTDs now. These are our power up expansion guys. We got Anthony Ferkser, which I could have swore said Xerxes when I first looked at it. Um, he's he's not good. He's bad, and I don't I don't think that really matters. Then we got Jamal Dean, who's actually pretty solid. He's got a 90 speed, so like on a budget squad maybe, but like of course I don't see a power up thing from there, so I wouldn't really care about that as well. Then we got Tay Crowder for the Giants, 83 speed, 88. So I actually had a pretty good week, 85 hit power. Nothing too special there again. And these are the better ones. So we got 84 Matt Ryan. I did predict him. Now, Matt Ryan will get an increase on his base lead. I believe he gets up to an 85 overall now. Uh, so, 85 overall is going to be, you know, not a great quarterback. Low throw power, low accuracy. Nothing too special. Again, with Matt Ryan. Justin Jefferson is actually super good. So, he was one of the guys that people have been waiting for as well. 90 speed, 88 jumping, 87 catch, 87 catch in traffic, 89 spec, 85 short, 84 medium, and 84 deep run running. Solid across the board. Nothing too special. I wish he had a power up. Would have helped him a bit more, but he's going to be an average route runner, average catcher, fast. He can do it. He's very well rounded for like a budget squad as well. Next, we have Minka Fitzpatrick, which this one's actually really cool. So, I predicted Minka as well. Now, Minka will be getting a plus one. So, he does get to an 89 overall now. So, he will have an 89 speed. 92 excel, 71 tackle, 88 play rec, 85 pursuit, 84 man, 91 zone, 80 hit power. So with cams and lockdown, he maybe, maybe can get that man up to like an 89. He can get the zone to like a 95, hit power up to an 81. He's going to get the player above 90. Honestly, very, very well-rounded free safety all around. I don't know if I'll use him, but he's definitely not too bad. But guys, pretty much wrapped up the video. That's everything we had to go over in terms of team of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, this does drop around noon. If you guys need coins, pick any of these guys up. If you want the Stefan Diggs, which honestly is super solid. If you want to pick up some coins, use code Poodle at checkout at Mutt Reserve. Of course, you can also buy the card directly on them. If you wait like 30 minutes to an hour, they'll be up there as well. And of course, make sure to take advantage of the solo grinding service for an extra, uh, again, 15% off. That's about it. Take advantage of the discounts, guys. If you want to join the Poodle Squad, like the video, turn on the notification bell and comment down below. Poodle Squad, and of course, subscribe if you guys are new. Let's keep growing. Let's keep growing to 30K. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.